Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It's day six of my juice feast. Today, I'm feeling really good. I wanted to share with you some of the adventures that we went on today. I'll share some of my meal prep that I've been doing for my juices. And I also wanted to talk about balance today. A very important topic that I feel is often overlooked but it's one that I've heard even Dr. Morse himself talk about, especially in his more recent videos. I've noticed that in the mornings and most of the day, I feel really good. I feel strong and clear, but toward the evening is when I'm starting to notice a really big drop in my energy, a really big drop in patience, you name it. One thing that I've been doing that has helped immensely has been sipping on Dr. Morse's Heal All Tea throughout the day, especially in the evening whenever I am noticing that drop off in energy. This morning, I felt so much better. I started the day off with a new juice that I have not tried before. It's called Sweet and Simple. It was four apples and four stalks of celery. Not bad, uh, but it was a bit heavy on the celery for my taste, though it was incredibly hydrating. I felt really good and really solid after drinking that. And then later on in the day, I tried another new juice. Guys, I'm trying to use up some celery that I have on hand. So this one was called an apple crisp juice, uh, five apples, two oranges, and two stalks of celery. That one was really good too. Other than those two juices, I've had probably a cup, a cup and a half of Dr. Morse's Heal All Tea, and I'm feeling solid today. It's even into the evening. My energy has started to dip down, but it hasn't dipped down as low as it has the last two nights. So I'm really grateful for that. And again, very grateful for the healing that my body is doing. And on to the adventures. Uh, after we made our morning juice, we stopped off at a local natural spring and we filled up about 16 gallons of water. We do this every few weeks. Definitely one of the better waters that you can drink if you have access to a local spring. If not, that's okay. You can always go to a local grocery store. Many grocery stores often carry gallons of natural spring water. So there is an option for you if you don't have one close by. Finally, I wanted to talk about balance today. It's an important message that I feel is often overlooked. And when we talk about detox, I feel like uh, many of us, we just want to do the best we can. We have goals in mind. Some of them are lofty goals and those lofty goals, great to have, but they take time and they take patience and persistence. If you are an individual that has already been in the detox community for years, that has already been eating a high fruit diet, and it's working for you, wonderful, keep going. This world 110% needs individuals that are able to dive into this lifestyle. We need those individuals to be the examples of what is truly possible with the human body. Now, when we're talking to a vast majority of the population, when we're talking about cleaning out the body, simply talking to them about eating all fruit or going on a month-long juice feast probably sounds really radical. And personally, when I'm working with most of my clients, unless they have a very true need to move quickly in their cleaning, I highly suggest that they move to a whole food plant-based diet first, and then we can work from there and incorporate more fruit. In the spirit of balance, friends, I challenge you to find your middle path. Whether you are already a fruitarian, if you are starting your first juice feast, if you are just trying to transition to a plant-based diet, Find that middle path and rock it. When your body is ready to move to the next level, it will let you know. So please don't try to judge yourself and your journey against anyone else's journey. It is okay to have goals. We need those goals so we have something to work toward, so we're always improving. 
but it's okay to take time to get there. That's it for today's video, friends. Thanks again for joining me on day six of this juice feast. If you're looking for any kind of assistance on your health journey, send me a message on my website at holtox.com. That is H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.